we'll see how we go. <laughs> I'm not expecting to make any huge progress on it, really. I just want to use it. Because I have five or six of them. I want to use them. Um, flag day is the Claytime Loose Bronzer, which I have been using to bronze now that I, I hit pan and my other bronzer contour colour. Um, and I drew a line across the bottom last time that I updated this. And if you look real closely, you can actually see it's just below that line. So a little bit of progress has been made. I don't need a whole lot of this to um, contour with or bronze with. Um, basically what I have to do is like put it on the back of my hand off the brush and then use it. Otherwise it's just, it's just too much um, because I'm super pale. And even more pale because it's the middle of winter. Um, the 4th of July, I had, and happy 4th of July for the other day, for the Americans, um, and Canada Day before that. Uh, this is the uh, Cobalt and Rose Nail Polish from BYS. This one is being decluttered. It is very stinky and it just, it doesn't seem to go on very well. I don't like how it looks. I don't think they picked the right two tones of colour to actually go together. Um, so that one is one that is being decluttered. This has actually been a really good project for getting rid of stuff in because I have lots of um, highlighted marks on this page, which is great. International Beer Day is the Improper Copper Pigment from Maybelline Colour Tattoo. Um, I have used this a couple of times, but it's it's a pigment. It goes a long way. It's really hard to see any kind of progress. It's quite dark. It doesn't look anything like copper to me. In fact, the one that they call, I think it's downtown brown or whatever, looks way more copper than this one does. I think they misnamed them. That's, that's my opinion. 9-11 um, Remembrance Day is uh, Positive Energy from Nicole by OPI. I haven't really used this, but I do actually like this nail polish, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, Halloween, we <laughs> I used two different things, so they ended up out. Uh, Thanksgiving was the Espresso Eyeshadow, which already has pan in it from, for this project, um, which is this one here, and I've used it like twice in like three months or something. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really look any different. If I started like using it uh, where the pan is, it would probably expand the pan like quite rapidly, but I, I, I haven't been doing that. Um, the Christmas one is the one that has been pulled out for, for reasons. Um, and the last one is Dutch King's Day, which was an eyeliner, which I actually took out and decluttered. Um, it was an orange eyeliner. Um, and I replaced it with Tutti Frutti from Revlon Color Burst, which yeah, it's, it's orange. Um, let me see. This is always way harder, and you probably should do it before you start filming. This one has actually had some nice steady progress because it's probably the lip colour that I have um, reached for the most in the last two months. Um, so we were up there when we started, and now we're sort of down there. It's a bit hard to measure because it's not flat, like the angle of it is not flat, but that's that's close enough. Gives you an idea of where we're at. So that is this update. That is it done. Um, I've made progress. I've decluttered things, which is what I want to do. Um, 
and yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty positive about things. So, uh, yeah, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pantop videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!